Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are playing Jeff's Sky Control. This has been one of the deck lists I've enjoyed the most. I've pretty much kind of built it from the ground up after looking at what Jeff's Sky Control lists have done in the past and what Blue White was actively doing at the time. But I wanted to play it. I love Jeff's Sky and I love Lightning Helix and playing the Volt Strider as I call it Swag Wagon throughout the game sometimes. And then Ill Time Explosion seems cool and we also get Ojitai. The main reason I added red to this blue white control list was to really go into our cyborg tech. We are playing best one. I'm just saying for cyborg reasons is we get to actually be the Urbrass Forge deck in which we put four of these into our decks against the control mirrors as a mirror breaker. So we don't really have to worry about it too much. Other than that, our deck list here, we are very heavily focused on creature removal. If you kind of break it down here real quick in terms of things that we can use just to pick off creatures. If it's either spot removal being a get lost lightning helix march or a board wipe stays effect in terms of temporary lockdown, ill time, sunfall, and farewell. Other than that, we're trying to make sure our opponent's spells do not resolve temporarily. We do not have a lot of counter spells. We have four, so these need to be treated very valuable. Whether it's in the control matchup, we want to make sure we get rid of the kind of grindy cards whether that's celestis or a planeswalker that draws or something like that that we can't really answer we need to make sure we have one of these held up for that not necessarily the creature that we can use any of these removal spells on to get off the board other than that we have quick studies for draw we have memory to lose for draw we have ojitai as a wing con plus draw we have teferi as a wing con plus draw celestis to equal out that grind factor the Volt Strider, because I love this little guy, and two Wandering Emperors as a win con plus gain life kind of grind factor. The other thing in this list is we are a little short on creature lands. You can kind of change it how you would like, but I went a little bit shorter on creature lands because we already have to play so many cap lands potentially in the four Sundown Pass, the three Stormcarve Coast four Seacrum Coast and two Deserted Beaches. A lot of those can come ta in tap depending what turn it is and where we're at in the game. So playing a ton of Creature Lands actually ends up biting us more than it helps us with constantly playing tap lands when we need an untapped source for our either Lockdown or our Sunfall. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the game, see how they go. And I hope you all enjoy the content. If you do, consider subscribing, maybe liking the video leaving me a nasty comment, you know? Have fun with it. Go crazy if you'd like. Outside of that, let's just go game. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a key. My music, way too loud that I cannot even hear. So, um, yeah, the reason we can keep this is because we can start off with like a storm carve here and then play a planes and have lightning helix held up along with get lost. And then our other lands come in untapped. Are we, are we surprised? I play best of one for the first time in like four days and you know you know it's got to come out immediately spontaneously instantaneously never fails never change best of one okay maybe you changed a little bit i don't know now yeah. treasure we do not care about this one one i can tell you that right now at 20 that 23 turn clock that's probably not a 23 turn clock i don't care okay they do nothing oh what a great draw let's let's not use it yet though we might have to pop a godric with this and then take all the tr the map tokens underneath our temporary lockdown but let's see okay sure. again don't really care to take this one because they could play a much worse thing post combat that I would rather answer like that. So this will make a token. I will remove it in which it'll make another token. And then we can kind of decide what we want to do. But with the map tokens, I'm definitely just down to temporary lockdown all this. Give them nothing. They're stuck on two lands. We'll just kind of stall off here. And even if they do play like a, a one drop that makes a artifact and they try to target it with gleeful demolition march with x equaling zero will still be able to answer that token so we're not technically shields down even though we don't have a white card to pitch yep sweet 
play this here and we just pass. We just don't have to really do anything. This memory illusion is going to be huge though, hopefully. Whether that's grabbing four lands off the top and removing them out of our way or finding something with a little bit more value. I want my drink to pop and make a noise. Trying a C4. All right, they finally moved through a phase here. Sure. Uh-huh. Down to 20. Not my starting life title, that's for sure. What do you got for me, opponent? You have the target. Or you want to cycle a blood token? Entirely up to you. Yes. I would answer this warden. They're going to tap and scry. And I can't really prevent that from happening. But I'm not going to do anything right now. I could march it. But I can also march it next turn. But if I do find a card like another lockdown. Or like a board wipe. I'd much rather just use that. And save my march. For like a blowing up a land reload. Emperors might be important enough here. My turn. Hitting another land, not necessarily great. It kept on top. Let's just go ahead and march this land. So now they won't know what's on top anymore. Grab a planes. And I don't really care if they scry or if they get like too much value here. They can kind of tap everything if they get to that point. If they want to but also popping this by the way takes like their mana fixing a little bit away uh scry 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 they would have to play something else that's fine also kind of fine could have exiled just now i guess so they can't scry anything Sure. Yes. We are in a little bit of danger here. I hope you're ready to lose. Exile here. This is what you get for hurting my people. They have to hit a land here. Let's just protect ourselves and try to memory to lose to find just like a universal answer to this board, like a sunfall or something. They have to hit land for this recruiter to come in and cause any problems. If they don't hit a land, then we're kind of fine. If Warden goes on the stack, then they can't play recruiter regardless. And I'm just looking to memory to lose either way. Just four here? I mean... Stay less. Most foreshadowed attack of the, I'm going to do nothing this turn. Besides maybe fill my board a little bit more. Sure. We're still looking the memory to lose here regardless. So what they do on this. It's like temporary lockdown takes everything on their board, but this night. Sure. Sunfall also clearly answers this board. I assume it has to be a land on top. Uh, Sunfall seems great. No more lies to counter their spell that they play after. Seems fantastic. And a memory to lose off the top. We are now approaching garbage time. All these are gone. If they try to play something important next turn, I no more lies. If they do nothing, I bring this up and have a 5-5 five, five beater. Like I said... I'm going to go ahead and counter this. Uh, it's gone. They have no threat. Or the war is honestly probably just a good enough spell to keep in hand as a land. But. Fully and convoke. Welcome back to best one, I suppose. And Sunfall still a good card. Uh, my opponent goes first. This is my hand. I mean, we have Helix on two. I can't ask for much more. 
in terms of like a nice card to have in the open the blue black land we play the spire we'll lead off a of secret coast play the deserted beast and go from there all right helix you can't answer a rafine they minus we can answer that Nuts. Some card. We'll pass. The reason we pass is in case they play another Kaido. Just big Walker gamers today, huh? Uh-huh. I'm not set up to beat Planeswalkers. This is going to be a tragic game. Huh? Sure. Yeah. Bring this up. We're on the draw, so this play doesn't generally work. Lockdown might actually do it, though. So I'll keep that on top. Lane has first strike, so we get that off the board pretty cleanly. Yeah? Sure. Oh, removal is probably so high here. Let's try. Counter spell removal. Literally anything. Welcome to being on the draw in this format. Um, I just don't have a way to answer this. Or that. Like, I just don't have a way to answer walkers. Well. I kind of do, I guess. But if they have cut down getting like slammed here no pause because cut down will technically pause on your own stuff but i'm going for it this way dead maybe that's good i have no idea i can't answer walkers but like that making one ones doesn't scare me too much it's like without it's all being relevant, it doesn't really matter. It just makes a one one over and over again. Now that, yeah, this is just like my nightmare matchup. Genuinely, there's just like not a whole lot I can do about it. What we wanted. Oh, hey, counter spell. Good of you to show up. I've missed you so much. Uh, hmm. I won't have a red for the helix. Brutal. Do this one. I'm laying him on top of that. And I'll pass here. Dick. They've just played like a planeswalker every turn. Please stop. Ready, sure. My turn. Oh, boy. I think I can get this off the board. Thanks to how the strider works. I pay zero, confirm for zero, submit zero here. Through evidence here. Helix. Farewell, I guess. Um. Just 
cast it for free, right? Uh, it says cast, man. I guess the red man is going to mess me up again. I can still hit it for six. And then next attack with it, I can just lightning helix it. Or I can also do that. I guess I don't lose anything if I do it this way, really. I don't think I can do this. I have to be able to cast it. No, is it free? Yeah, I was say I can't. I didn't think it was free. Uh, that can go to the bottom. I was pretty sure it worked like Snapcaster where you actually have to pay the cost, but bonking that down pretty low is nice, but they might remove it here. March is obviously an option. They make another token. Attack. I would say. Now, what does that tell us? No attack there. This one. Just hesitation. I'm gonna pass. I'm looking to like flip this up, attack with this, also bring up the Strider. They make a 1-1. One, one. Sure. They have like a huge card advantage against me. Missing a land drop here. Gross. All right. That's sick. Three will hit regardless if I do that that way. Sick. So we can actually do it the way we want. Uh, Sunfall in March. Um, I do want to scry. As long as I have enough for my no more lies. They all kind of have to go after. Um, sure. Uh, zero confirmed zero. I hate having to fight over this walker so much. I feel like their deck does nothing as long as this walker is off the board. We're already in combat, so these map tokens do nothing. Come here, Emperor. Well, we're working on it. Trying so hard. No! Remember to lose? Uh, that, I'll take that. That's a good draw. I can just use it to draw two cards and it's not a big deal. I'm so dead. It's not even close anymore. That's just a start. I have no idea what the the idea is here. Wow, get lost for the hex proofer. Uh, decline. The token producer out of here. That's a fine card. What's up, opponent? You could, I don't know, not let Kaya happen. That'd be cool. What? I mean, sure, I guess. You're not safe, so. Oh, they they feel confident. Weird. Weird indeed. This 
one. This one. Dude, this little spire fighting for his life out here, dude. He's like, I'm trying, big dog. I've hit so many walkers. He's not having a good time anymore. Yeah, I'm dying. That is correct. Get up there. That's all I got, man. I I have nothing going on. Please have a cut down. Hmm, tough. That's tough. This one. This one. If there's this lands on top. We have to get them out of the way. We have to get them out of the way. Quick study might be the card we need. Why hexproof? I don't move without knowing my target. Klein, I don't want to scry. I like my card on top. I don't like that though. Mm. How do I spell pain without the pain? Wow, if I could bounce this, that'd be so sick. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead, dude. I literally don't know what to do. Take a two, two, I guess. Keep watch for intruders. I have to like sacrifice my emperor. I literally don't know if I have a way to answer this walker. Why, why all of a sudden drawing here? Why not just keep taking me down? You're like giving me chances. I don't, I just look for a Jace mill, just plus. Blood for knowledge. A fan. Huh? Uh-huh. Oh, we're so, we're so toasted. Not even close. one you finally play a counter spell no i mean technically that'll do it in a weird way the count if it hits a player or player or battle mm. puff looks I have a thing that has hexproof. Can't remove you. Can't really remove you. Guess I'll start with one. I'm working on it, dude. I, hello. Just attack with that break. Come on now. This one. Look at us temporary lockdowning. I realistically should have just conceded to preserve my own life total, but you know, sometimes you just have to grind it out. This didn't hit a player, so it doesn't trigger, and now it's just vulnerable. And they can exile it. So, we're good. I just can't believe out of the entire meta scenario, I come back, I play, and I play against Convoke immediately, and then they're like, what about your worst matchup possible? And I'm like, okay, my bad, dog. I can technically have no more lives up on turn two, but, you know, I love playing best of one and being on the draw every time. Life gain should be a fine matchup for us. Um... Play land, break. What are we thinking about? Just play your cards. What? I was trying to think of like if there was a way I could have this up, and I was like, there, there's clearly not. Just like you know how to have it up. Just play your cards. Sometimes I want to slug myself. Don't worry, team. It's just like I just went through a a heck of a time, if you would, in the previous matchup.
and now I'm trying to uh, battle through here. I mean, we got to counter that. Sure. I would like to quick study here. I think I have plenty of time to do it, so. Um, yeah, I'm quick studying unless they play something crazy. We're just looking for that white land to play the temporary lockdown. It, that's the crazy card. We have time. We're still going to quick study. Life total being high doesn't really matter in this matchup. This matchup, weirdly enough, is our life total versus our hand size in comparison to theirs. We win if we have way more cards than them. We lose if they end up getting more cards or if they end up reducing our life total to zero before we get there. Uh, we do this. And I could just... I could just get lost his voice. Um, definitely will. I'm not going to take a hit from it. I'm going to move to combat and I, mm, I'm kind of hoping that they play the creature that'll bring it back. That's why I'm not really wanting to march. That should be fine. We also have to be careful because temporary lockdown is just not guaranteed by the way. Like, for example, they can play Get Lost and blow up my lockdown, which to some extent makes me want to Sunfall the board. A little surprised they didn't go to combat. They've been doing that previously. I understand that this could get way bigger, but I haven't done anything for three or four turns. It's possible I have a dead hand. It's not likely I have a dead hand. We don't care about Get Lost in this situation. They're tapped out, so this just basically takes everything. And if they get lost this, get it all back, sure they'll gain a ton of life, be able to crack the cases. But then we can sunfall the board and it's not as big of a deal. Veteran, veteran, sure. These are a couple of cards I'm not too worried about. Uh, kind of fitting the same description. I'm willing to take a little bit of damage from these. Because again, direct damage is not where they kind of... Is not where they really make their money. Looking the memory to lose. I'm looking for card advantage. I'm looking to constantly dig, find things. Like, those are great. Maybe they'll spend their next turn doing that. I don't know. Just create a little life separation from us just dying. Get the Celestis down. Call it a day. And we'll just pass. Celestis alone, if we play it right, can outgain this veteran in terms of the damage it does to us. Obviously, it'll gain way more life. On the back end, don't really care about that. Much rather quick study here. With the no more lives now, I can always kind of just protect this lockdown, but they got to get lost. They got it. Good march. Not really worried about it. Good lockdown again. Nah, I have memory to lose. I like my hand too. I don't really know what we draw that our hand gets like better. Look in the memory deluge, by the way. Sure, I'll just sudden fall this board next turn. You're gonna get this back. You're gonna gain some life, do some shenanigans. Still looking in the memory deluge, and then I'll just sudden fall here. Uh, Teferi is our win condition, and honestly, Emperor will be fine as well. Um, my turn? That's also a win condition. Sure. But these both are white sources. We could have field ruined, but I'm like, okay. But we have a Celestis, I guess. It doesn't matter. I forgot about our little Celestis over there. Um. Sure. I, I won't discard a hand size. Decline. I don't really know what else we'd be asking for out of this hand. Like, what what realistically do we want? That we got to pretty much where we wanted to be. And basically fill our hand up. Just let them kind of, like... Do whatever they're gonna do play slow kind of do what that deck does we're not there we are not their favorite matchup at all we are by far their worst if i had to say outside of blue white control maybe but we are by far the matchup they do not want to see so very cool
Can I go first? Uh, I'll keep. What does that mean? What do you? What do you? Ah. Means we're in hell. Okay. I'll pass. I just wanted to play against a couple convoke gamers and call it a day, but my opponent doesn't want to allow me to do that. Fire this off just because I can. Vicious. Land, pass. We'll look to quick study. No? Don't want to field ruin my land? My opponent threw a spicy meatball at me and now I'm horrified. It's land drop. I'll give you value. You can have it. It's all yours. Look, look how, look how messed up this card is. Good job. I love you. Whomp. Big bonks. Big surveils. Talk it up. All right, cool. Um, worked out well. Honestly, I think I didn't really change much. I pulled the uh, Aurelia out to play the you know Ojitai here. I think Ojitai is better in this list. The hexproof being relevant. Uh, we clearly need a way to answer planeswalkers. I think that that was bad. Even if it's a one of barrel, like I think we definitely need to find an answer to that. A lot of times in these spots, you could argue it's Brotherhood in, and maybe there we could trim like a lockdown and player Brotherhood in. Oh, I did I smacked my microphone. I'm so sorry. But you can argue it's Brotherhood, or even like a bird down the house wouldn't be the worst because it does five damage, and that is definitely going to swing a little bit higher. And maybe we, we have to trim somewhere for that. I'm unsure. But I've so far liked the way the deck list is run. Thus far, I think our land situation is a little bit better. I know I trimmed on a lot of like the creature lands um, because I just prefer to play more untapped sources when I can. And a lot of times drawing it on like a tap source off the top is actually more detrimental than it is beneficial in the late game. I've I've felt when I've played this list. Uh, other than that, my sideboard's pretty juicy. I don't know if you've seen this. I did it in best of three. But I actually just became the Urbrass Forge deck in that matchup because I was trying to think in best of three what gives me an advantage in terms of playing red if I ever run into a control deck. And I said, wow, I get to play Urbrass Forge and they're going to take out most of their removal and this just inherently dodges get lost, by the way. So I said, why not me bring in Urbrass Forge? The only card that really can answer it is March. Like if they're playing this March or they counter it, obviously. But if we a lot of times get to go first and slam that down and best of one, it works out so incredibly well for us. And we typically end up winning, which is actually what happened in that best three video. But here's the list. I don't really have a whole lot to say. I played it quite often. We are kind of in that spoiler season. So I understand looking at decks right now is a little bit weird because it's like, what will we be adding to these deck lists and what will we be moving on for? Also that leads, if you want me to review the set, I know there's already a lot of people that do set reviews and they have editors and stuff. So it makes it a lot easier. So I'm a little bit slower when it comes to that. Cause I have to film it, record it, edit it and upload it myself. So if you want reviews, I'll do them. I don't mind. And they'll be in addition to my normal uploaded video. So it'd be like two uploads that day. Which is perfectly fine with me. I just need to know if I'm doing it. That it's not really a waste of time, I guess. But other than that, I love this list. Give it a try if you want. I would hold off on crafting until a new set comes out. Seems like this set's pretty pushed. Uh, Thunder Junction, that is. So a lot of things are going to change. So don't... Maybe, maybe hold off a week or two. You know, just let this set release. Let people figure it out and go from there. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.